Okay, so welcome back everyone to some Resident Evil remake. Um, what did we do in the last episode? We got that crest, that's it. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. I can go ahead and put that crest where we need to and that will lead us to the residence area. Alright, so let me go up here. So I'm thinking about Resident Evil, and I'm wondering what will be the next big title in the Resident Evil franchise, because right now they got that Project Resistance thing that's coming out, and that's like a, a tie you over multiplayer online, four versus one kind of thing. I'm not really going to go get that, I don't think. I'm not too big on that. And also, I, like I've said, I think I said in the last video or whatever, I'm not big on those kind of games because if they ever stop supporting the online servers for it, now you got a game that you paid for that's no longer getting support and it's solely 100% online based, so now you have a dead game. So I'm not too big on something like that. Okay, hang on, let me, th let me stop before I continue with my thoughts here. Where is that door that I need to get to? I know it's by the light puzzle, but where was the light puzzle? Because, okay, if I go to my map, I know where the light puzzle is. If I go straight, back where I was, the light puzzle, okay, I remember. I got you. But is that door broke? I might have to go this way. I think that doorknob is still broke, so I can't go that way. Because unlike Barry, Wesker didn't fix it. But anyways, I was thinking about what will be the next big title announced for Resident Evil. And I'm thinking the big, the top two obviously are Resident Evil 3 Remake and Resident Evil 8. Now I remember there was that rumor talking about Resident Evil 3 is already in development. So if Resident Evil 3 Remake is already in development, then there's a high probability that's going to be our next game that we see come to life. Um, stay away from you. So that there's a good chance that Resident Evil 3 Remake could be the next game. Now if that is the case, I hope they do it for the most part like they did Resident Evil 2 Remake. Oh no, I wasn't loaded. Here. I gotta get that back. But I hope they do it similar to what they did with Resident Evil 2 Remake. A few things I hope they don't do that they did with Resident Evil 2 Remake. I like that they added in the... I was really hoping he would come at me, but he wasn't. I do like that they added the classic soundtrack. I hope they do that again. But I also hope they add in a better soundtrack than what Resident Evil 2 got as its base soundtrack, you know? I don't want to have to only rely on the classic soundtrack. I would also like for Resident Evil 3 Remake to get a good soundtrack. So I, I kind of hope that they do that and don't just kind of give us some quiet soundtrack like RE2 got. There wasn't a lot of music in the base soundtrack that it came with. There wasn't a lot there. There you go. But um, hopefully Resident Evil 3 Remake, they'll do more with their soundtrack rather than just make some simple soundtrack and then also add in the classic Resident Evil 3 soundtrack. So that's one thing I'm hoping to see. It would be nice. And then there's also... I'm curious as to like, will they keep the dodge mechanic? from the original Resident Evil 3. Hang on, where do I need to go? I've got one slot, so I don't want to take that first aid spray since I already got a full herb. I don't feel like this is the door. Oh wait, yeah, this is this is the door. This is the one. But with a Resident Evil 3, those are, the, those are a few of the things I hope they do. 
Another thing I hope they don't do, though, is with Nemesis, I hope they don't have him show up so much like Mr. X did. Mr. X, <clears throat> he, he just showed up so much that it got irritating. I didn't mean to push that. Wesker? We clearly heard stay away from the woods outside of the mansion. What do we do? We go in the woods outside the mansion. Also, let me just stop and appreciate this viewpoint. Like, let's just stop and appreciate that with like the trees, you got the mansion and how like the trees cover up the mansion. You got this water trickling down. Like this is just amazing how this looks. Like I love this. This looks so good. Got that light fog coming through. Like this looks good. This to, this right here is why Resident Evil Remake is still the greatest remake ever. I just love all this atmosphere that these angles give. It's just so good. I mean the detail in it and just the small little things. Like I love how some of the lights in the mansion are off and how some of them are on. I mean that's just a little detail I like. I like how it's cloudy in the sky. You can see that. The wind, the sound effects of that. All of this right here is just really good. This is a really good angle, actually. I haven't ever really took the time to look at it, but that's actually a really nice angle. So let's go back and do what we need to do. Okay, let me figure this puzzle out. I think I got it backwards. A statue with blue eyes, the incarnation reads, the last gasp of destruction. I think I'm supposed to have them face each other. So this one's the red, so I think I need to have him facing the opposite direction. Because I think they're supposed to face each other, I think. Which way is it though? I think it's... It might be west. Let's see if that works. Okay, so it's east. Ah, oh, darn. I was going to see if I could do it really quick, but I guess not. Okay, so that don't work, so I'm guessing the blue one has to face away from the red. That's the way he was just facing. Okay, let me see what these dogs look like, so I know that I'm like facing them the way I think I am. Okay, yeah, so I got it almost the way I want it. Right now it's facing west. I guess we need it to face south? Or east? No, no, we just did east. It's south. It needs to face south. Okay, it's west or north. So I got to get north. Oh, wait. I was sitting there waiting for it to slow down, and it just seemed like it wasn't ever going to slow down, so I just clicked it. Okay, hopefully this is right. Man, that doesn't work either. Okay, so I have one more thought process here, and it's they have to face away from each other. Okay. 
Okay, so I think south is the way I want it. Please slow down. Oh my god. That's what I meant to do. I mean, it's what I was doing the whole time. I don't know what y'all were what y'all were thinking. That oh my god was a relief. Okay, so anyways. Let me go in here and let me get back to what I was talking about earlier. If it's not you know, if it is Resident Evil 3 Remake, though, I hope they don't make Mr. X show up as much as... Or Nemesis show up as much as X. Because he showed up too much, and it got to be a bit annoying. So hopefully they don't spam Nemesis. Let him sit out a little bit. Oh boy, I remember that used to just send chills down my spine when I first played this. But the part that always got me the most was here in a few moments when we get inside the cabin. You hear the door open once you uh, get the crank or whatever. And from that point, you can go off the ledge and you can see um, Lisa Trevor as she's walking inside the cabin and it's just creepy. Okay, so I only have one spot still, so I can't get those. But, like I was saying, hopefully Nemesis doesn't get spammed. And I'm also kind of curious of what they will do differently with Nemesis. Like, will they add new forms and things like that? Because I know William Birkin got new forms, but Mr. X, he didn't really get any new forms. He just got a new hat. That's pretty much all he got. He got a hat and then his final form was alternated it looked a little different but it will be interesting to know if nemesis gets a change up but yeah in a second when I get that crank you come over here and you can see Lisa Trevor from here you've got a good view of the entrance of the cabin and then the other option of course is it could potentially be Resident Evil 8. That's the next big game. Which I would also be good with, you know, if um, Resident Evil 8 turns out to be it. That will be interesting because, again, where, where will the story take us? Are we going to follow the whole fungus thing and the um, Evelyn story with the... Is it the... Oh man, I'm forgetting what it's called. It's like the corporation or something like that. I can't think of what it is right now. But whoever they are, will Blue Umbrella turn out to be something bad or what will we see? Oh God. So you could you just saw Lisa for like a second. It's just man, it's not it's not fun. I remember seeing that and just freaking out a little bit when I was playing this long ago. You just come over here and you just see her there for a second. Okay, so let me go ahead and put away the shotgun shells. Combine those. Get this ink ribbon. Family picture. There's a journal left behind by someone. 19. Daddy attached first, or daddy attached first, mama attached second. Inside red and slimy white and hard, not true, mama. We're, don't know dad, found mom again. When attached, mom, mommy, she moved no more. She's screaming, why well, just want to be with her? For my where I miss you. Man, it's a lot of the Chick-fil-A cow wrote this. I don't know if everybody knows what I'm talking about, but Chick-fil-A, they got these commercials where their cows will write, eat more chicken, and they'll spell everything wrong, but it's close enough. And this is what this looks like. It looked like Chick-fil-A cow wrote this. But, 
Okay, so we got that going on. Let me go ahead and save. But Resident Evil 8 is going to be an interesting one just because I'm curious as to where the story will take us. Will we have another city that is infected like Raccoon City? Or what, what will happen? Will it be more action oriented again? Is it going to be survival horror still? Will it be third person perspective? Or are we going to go back to first person? Hopefully it's third person because personally I don't care for the first person perspective. I just don't like that style of camera. Especially in a horror game, but even in general, I'm not a big fan of it because Doom, for example, I, I didn't really enjoy Doom because I don't like that camera angle. The only game that I could think of were games like GoldenEye 64 and Torok 2 Seed of Evil. Those games I enjoyed, but overall, I do not really like that camera angle. But I want to go ahead and end this episode here, and on the next one, we shall continue to see what awaits outside that hallway as this eerie music plays. See you all in the next one. See you then.